Hello and welcome. My name is Brett and I'm, I'm excited to be here with you. I love the ab wheel and Yoga Evo puts out this really nice ab wheel. So I'm really glad they invited me to share this with you and talk about some exercise with you. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun doing some simple movements. This piece of equipment is what really started me off with all of my activity when I was younger. I loved this piece and this is a really particularly nice ab wheel. So it's gonna be fun to play with it and really go over some core movements and some upper body movements and even some leg movements that are fun to do with this piece of equipment. It's really pretty diverse, so I'm gonna enjoy this. The biggest things that I wanna go over first are just basic posture with the ab wheel. It's really important, just like any other type of exercise, to have really good posture when you're doing an ab wheel movement. So you wanna keep the core really tight. This is largely about your abdominal strength, your core strength, so you wanna keep your back really straight and your core really tight. Generally speaking, we're gonna have our arms in a straight position, but there's some variations to that. And as far as the basic abdominal movement for this, there's a couple different ways that you can approach it. As you get stronger, you'll advance and be able to do more difficult movements for a longer period of time. But initially, it's about getting our hips forward. And then if you feel like you can roll out from there, you roll out further allow yourself down, and then pull back up. Now, you notice I keep tight the whole time, but it's on that pull back up that I really have to engage my abdominals. I exhale as I pull back towards myself and squeeze those abdominals, but my back stays straight the whole time. So again, as you're getting started, it's, it's just seeing how far you can go out. This is generally pretty easy to get into a plank from the knees and then going out from there and squeezing back in. Now, as you notice, I'm showing you by pulling my shoulders or pulling the arms down at the same time. This is engaging my lats and everything else into my core to pull me back into the seated position. But as you get better, you can keep your arms straight and do more challenging rollouts just with the arms straight. And so no longer am I engaging my lats to help me pull up into it or my or my delts i'm doing it all with my core i'm just going in and out so like i said there's a couple of different variations and as we do ab rollouts you do what's comfortable for you in that position okay keep your back straight your core tight and then go as far out as you can and challenge yourself to push yourself just past the comfort zone so that you continue to get stronger now the next movement that I wanna show you today and that we'll add to our workout here in a minute is just a basic push-up. So the ab wheel is really cool because it's, it's got a fulcrum point. It's centered so you have to balance, you have to stabilize. And this is really cool for doing a basic push-up movement, especially from our knees. They got this nice pad here so we can do it right here on our knees, down, and you see my hands shake a little bit. They're stabilizing. I'm keeping my upper body in a straight line. I go down, touch the chest, and push back up. Keep those elbows in tight. Go down, touch the chest, <sighs> exhale, and push back up. The exhale is on the press upwards. This tightens our core again and keeps us straight while we're exerting the force of pushing upwards. So really great movement. Again, you're gonna have to stabilize here and your wrists might get a little funky at first, but trust them. They'll find the balance, they'll find the center, push even. Make sure that you're pushing up to full extension. You don't want to just push up to here. You wanna push up, round the back out. This is gonna engage those serratus anterior along your sides. And this is really important to get that full range of motion and to get the full range of benefits from building the whole range of the, of the muscle groups engaged in this activity. So it's really important to push all the way up, round that back out, and uh, get the most out of that movement. Now from there, let's look at a leg movement. So we've done, we've done some abdominals, we will have done some back in all of that. Let's take a look at a leg movement that you can do with the ab wheel, and then we'll get into actually doing a quick routine. So 
the greatest and simplest movement that you can do with this is a hip thrust. Now you've probably done hip thrusts on the ground with your feet flat, but again, when you add in the fulcrum, when you add in a small point that you have to balance on, that engages the muscles even more. It's really gonna ask them to stabilize. And in that stabilization, it's gonna work your core and it's gonna work your leg muscles just a little bit more. So it takes a second to get used to, but we'll put our feet up on the ab wheel. And you wanna make sure that they're kind of even. You can start in the center and just work your way out a little bit. You're gonna get the ab wheel right up under so that your knees are right over top of the ab wheel, hands down at the side for stabilizing. And you're just going to squeeze the glutes together and press the hips upwards towards the sky. It's just a little hip thrust. Now you notice, just like in the push-up, my feet are wobbling like this. They're having to stabilize. They're having to tighten up. My core is having to compensate. And all that is gonna help your body work and tone those fine-tuned muscles so that they all work together and they get strong together. It is really great to destabilize your movement to make it harder on your muscles so that they get stronger. So exhale on the press upwards. We're contracting the core. We're squeezing tight here in the glutes, pushing as high as you can, and then relaxing back down. Really great way to challenge your legs using the ab wheel as well. So let's take these three movements and let's put it into a little routine so that we can get a quick workout in. It doesn't take much, three sets of a simple routine like this and we'll be in really great shape. It will have given us a nice workout. The point here will be to try hard, push yourself just past your comfort zone, nothing crazy. You have to maintain form, that's the most important thing. So make sure you're maintaining good form, you're keeping a nice straight back for all of these movements and a tight core. Exhaling, as when I said, with the exertion of force. So on a push-up, you exhale when you're pressing upwards. On the hip thrust, again, you're squeezing upwards, you wanna exhale then. And on the rollout, when you're pulling back towards you, that's when you're really contracting your abdominals. You exhale, accentuate that crunch back in towards yourself. Now, let's start off with just 20 repetitions of rolling out. Again, this is about your level of fitness. So if you feel like you can go a little bit further, go a little bit further. But if you feel just comfortable right here, that's totally fine. Keep the back straight, pull it back in, keep the core tight, and we'll be in great shape. So let's start with 20 of these. Rolling straight out. <sighs> Exhale and pull it in. Roll out as far as you feel comfortable. <sighs> Exhale and pull it in. Roll, that's three. Nice, slow, consistent pace here. Nothing fast, nothing jolty. This is about smooth movement. <sighs> Keep everything tight. Roll out to where you feel comfortable. Pull it back in, squeeze those abdominals, focus on it. Keep everything tight. Make sure those arms are staying straight. Make sure you're maintaining a nice straight back. Don't let that back sink. Keep it all straight. Exhaling on the way back in. Good, and if you find yourself not going quite as far towards the end of it, that's totally fine. We've got just under five left here. Keep pulling with your core, with your abdominals. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and mix in the legs here. So let's flip over on our backsides, put our feet up. Get them right there in the arch of your feet. Hands down at your sides, palms flat on the floor, and lift your hips off the ground with an exhale and back down. We're gonna do 10 of these. One, two. Push as high as you can with this. You really wanna get the full range in there. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings. That's halfway. 
A lot of stabilizers in it. Let's do one more for good measure. Perfect. Now we'll flip back over and we'll get our push-ups in. So, from our knees, you're on the pad. You're gonna lower yourself straight down. Touch your chest if you can and push all the way back out. Round the back out at the top. Make sure we're getting our full range of motion in there. Down, touch, and push up with an exhale. Keep the elbows in as much as possible. Nice and slow and consistent. Tight core, straight back. Good movements there. Push your comfort level just slightly. You notice I'm sweating, it's hot here today. I'm definitely getting a workout using this. It's all about your comfort zone. I've shown you how to push every little step, every little advancement. You can just go a little bit further. That's the beauty of the ab wheel. It's completely customizable to your fitness level. So you can push yourself as far out as you want before pulling it back in. You can go as deep as you want in the hip thrusts and the push-ups and get as much of the range of motion is that you are comfortable with and continue to push that so that you get stronger and stronger. It's a really great piece of equipment and I feel very lucky to be here for Yoga Evo today to demonstrate it for you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again for another couple of videos.